my name is Mary, and today I'm going to be walking you through getting started with an Adobe Portfolio website. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is visit the Adobe Portfolio website. So that's portfolio.adobe.com. Next, I'm going to click on the Get Started Free button right here to start creating my new website. All right. So once I click the Get Started Free button, I'm going to see this new screen featuring a ton of different theme options. I also see this button towards the top with two options, Full Portfolio and Welcome Page. A welcome page is a simple, single website page that is often used to display basic information such as contact information, um, link to a store, etc. However, since I'm more interested in creating a fully realized portfolio website, I'm going to make sure that full portfolio is selected. So now I'm able to browse and view the available themes for my website. Each theme will provide a different feel and look to my website ultimately. And to get a better idea of what each theme can look like, I can preview them by clicking on them. And then I can actually interact with this website as if it were live just within this viewer. Um, so you can get a really good idea for how a website might function. To exit, I'm just going to click the X button. So although all of these themes could be used to create really awesome portfolio websites, some might be better suited for certain types of content than others. So for example, if you're planning to display high resolution photography, you may want to select a theme that displays full width images, like Lena, for example. Or if you're planning to incorporate lots of text and written components, maybe a theme like Marta might work for you a little bit better. You can easily change your theme at any time. So I really recommend going through all of these and experimenting until you find one that is the perfect fit for you and your content. Um, for the sake of this demo though, I'm going to go ahead and select Marina. So to use Marina as my website theme, all I have to do is click on the theme and then hit the use this theme button at the top right. Okay. And now you can see that I have a blank canvas to use as a website and I'm in a really great place to start adding content. 